Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is Signal to Noise co-host Kyle Churnside. Kyle, how the hell are you? Doing well. Hanging out. St. Louis, Missouri. It's a little bit warmer today. Love it. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Great to have you, man. All right. You know the dance, 30 seconds on the clock, and then on to the next one. Are you ready? Of course. All right. Question number one, describe your job to a five-year-old. I leave for hours at a time, and then I come home when you least expect it, and I appear tired and worn out and grumpy, and then I go to bed, and you get to reap the benefits of all this beautiful electricity and water and heat and air conditioning because dad leaves and comes home grumpy. Beautiful electricity. Next question. What's the weirdest gig you've ever had? Ooh. I'm sure there's did, plenty I, to choose from there. I did it. I did a Chippendale show um, in, holy cow, it was in Needles, Nevada in the middle of nowhere. So it was like the B team chip nails. That was interesting. But um, at the end, you could look through my Instagram and find it. I definitely took my shirt off and grabbed some collars and the bow tie and took a picture with the dudes. I was like, this is my new, this is my new thing. That's pretty frightening thought right there. Okay. Next question. What's the strangest or most embarrassing thing you've ever done when sleep deprived or otherwise on autopilot? Ooh, um, I've definitely left headphones all over the place. I think I've seeded the world with these uh, Sony headphones like everywhere. So um, I knew I was there if I come back and the front of house tech was like, hey, you left it here last time. But yeah, uh, definitely a sleep deprivation thing or a not thinking thing. Didn't leave any for me, man. Okay, next question. Tell me how you got your most recent injury. Ooh, uh, indoor soccer. I play indoor soccer on an over 30 league here in St. Louis. And uh, I pulled my hamstring pretty bad. That was my last real injury. Uh, I'm almost 50. So playing over 30, it's a little rough. Uh, those kids are, uh, those kids are quick. <laughs> Out of your league, are you? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Got challenge. Got to challenge yourself. Okay, next question. You have the power to give people telepathic suggestions, but an hour later, they will be aware that it came from you. What are you going to have them do? Hmm. This could go one of two ways. Either pay me or act like a fool, which are both dumb things to do anyways, and especially if they came from me is probably a bad idea. Like, and especially if the, an hour later they realize it came from you and they're just going to want their money back. So true. Yeah. You know, bummer good way to make enemies. Yeah, it's a, definitely. Ah. All right. Next question. You're a burglar who only steals things that are minorly inconveniencing people. What are you taking? Uh, silverware. Definitely. Because I went through teenagers and now I have an eight year old and we're missing a ton of forks. And they're only a certain kind of fork. And my lady's a little bit OCD and she has her own fork. And that's the, the set that's missing. So, yeah, I would definitely steal silverware, uh, preferably forks. There's a joke about them being in the road in there somewhere, but I won't go there. Yeah. All right. That concludes our regularly scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked you shamelessly plug something pontificate on life in general ask me a question whatever you want 30 seconds it's all yours go i guess i'll have to plug the show so daniel you've been on the show a couple times now and hung out with us um signal to noise podcast sponsored by uh pro sound web live sound international suggest you guys take it out uh and listen to it um we have a mentorship program that we kind of started by accident and it's actually pretty much accelerating the industry and helping folks get placed and answer questions that they've always wanted about audio and the music industry in general. Um, and I made three best star, a bunch of best friends, two best friends, Michael Lawrence and uh, Chris Leonard. So um, I believe it's helpful to the community. I believe it's super helpful. And I think 
those in the industry would enjoy some of the episodes that we have. I totally agree. And I've heard from plenty of people that insights and sound and signal to noise are the only two podcasts they listen to. So go us. Kyle Churnside, thank you for being my guest. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure for sure. Thank you. Mm-hmm.